Cashtag Studios Production. Okay, so this is going to be a presentation on the first uh, content chapter of ITGS, Information Technology in a Global Society. It's going to be a breakdown of ITGS, what it studies, and how it helps to analyze technology-based situations. The basic question, what is ITGS? It's Information Technology in a Global Society, and it looks how the usage of certain technologies influences people and society. This is going to be how do different technology systems that are being used in everyday life uh, influencing different groups of people, different stakeholders? It's going to study the ethical usage of these technologies and the issues that uh, may come about as a result of the unethical usage of them. And basically, ITGS is an, is an analysis of all of the ethics regarding the usage of technology. Any system that's used in everyday life for any group of people that can be applied to a wide range of topics. There's a lot of well-known uh, ITGS-based debates that are going on right now. Uh, one pr that's pretty well-known is the, uh, the Internet censorship debate, uh, censoring web searches and Internet content, right down to some other topics that only some people know about or some people are affected by, such as workplace surveillance. Uh, there are a ton of different issues and a ton of different scenarios where ITGS can apply as a result, it's a very interesting subject and a very important one when analyzing technology. So the, the main content for ITGS is found in the ITGS triangle. Every issue with regards to ITGS, every technology-based issue of every particular system has every part of this triangle. In the center is what is called stakeholders. This, this is basically what the issue revolves around. The stakeholders are, just what the name says, people who hold a stake in the issue. What we mean by issue really is uh, the usage of a system can either positively or negatively affect different groups or different individuals. Wh whomever those individuals or groups are, those are the stakeholders. They hold the stake in the situation. Now the quote issue that I've been referring to is referred to as the social and ethical significance. That's the first of three strands, as they refer to. The social and ethical significance, uh, there are a, set f a select few of designated social and ethical, quote, issues. They are terms that are used to describe the problems that arise with the usage of certain technology systems and why they need to be resolved. Strand two is application to a specific scenario. We're going to talk about that later. That's basically uh, what type of technologies does this, uh, does the issue apply to? Because not every not every piece of technology in this world is used for the same exact thing. So scenarios that are going to be referred to are sort of different divisions of those. And then strand three is the IT system itself, itself the actual uh, basic technical component based breakdown of what exactly is the system made of. So, first off, we're going to talk about the first strand, which is the social and ethical significance. As I said, there are a couple of sort of pre-named uh, social and ethical issues that are discussed. Now, these are what are used to describe what might be wrong with the usage of a particular, p a particular IT system. Okay, now, each of, them ha each of them can apply, now, many of them can apply to one specific situation, but there's usually one main one that relates to each different system. The first is reliability and integrity. And integrity. This is really a go-to one for a lot of systems because what it analyzes is it analyzes how well a system works and the correctness of, a da of the data it controls. But the, the reason why it's sort of a go-to, the go-to social or ethical issue is because a system is never going to be perfect. IT systems always have some kind of flaw with them. They're never going to be 100% perfect, and therefore, reliability, if all else fails, is, the, is usually a uh, applicable issue for each situation. But there are more specific ones that can be used, such as security. This is the protection of IT systems from unauthorized users. Privacy and anonymity, the ability to control how data about people is used. Privacy, it keeps you know sensitive information private, like passwords and usernames and other sensitive information. Intellectual property is weakly defined as protecting the creations of the mind. Intellectual property is a very important social and ethical issue because it relates to um, 
well, basically, it relates to creations of the mind, but them being made available on, say, the internet and how they're protected. Um, creations of the mind, usually we talk about, you know, things that are made pu publicly available on the internet, I don't know, music, uh, videos, things that are you know, made available to the public for some kind of a cost, and usually the intellectual property issue arises when people try to get around that cost by, you know, hacking or, you know, finding a way into the system without paying or whatever it might be, but intellectual property is usually concerned with the disrespect thereof. Then there's authenticity. This is users having to provide proof or identification to access certain systems. This is basically your your password, your username, uh, captures some form of identification that you need to use this system so that they know you're a real person and they know that you're going to use the system ethically. Then there's digital divide and equality of access. This is a really interesting socialist issue. Uh, it refers to the limited availability of IT technologies in certain parts of the world, basically. The digital divide refers to the fact that only some people have access to these technologies, whether that be because of cost or whether that be because of proximity not everybody has access to the same productive systems that most other people are accustomed to having in their everyday life. Uh, n next issue is surveillance. This is using IT to monitor people. And we talked about one of the areas, one of the well-known debates for IT is uh, workplace surveillance. Uh, any any type of you know usage of cameras or uh, internet or uh, computer history or computer records, what people were doing on computers. That's the type of surveillance, basically watching people. And uh, surveillance is usually concerned with to what extent it can be used. Globalization and cultural diversity. Again, this really does relate to the digital divide, the spread of productive technology, and how, how it does spread. Policies. These are rules designed to enforce the correct ways people should use IT. Basically, you know, referring to the ethical way to use technology. Standards and protocols are rules that designers of hardware and software should follow. These are actually rules that are sort of put in place to restrict, you know, the people that are making the technology because they're usually professionals. We trust them, and so they can't abuse that trust. People and machines, the way humans interact with typical IT systems, basically how humans use uh, IT computers and other other technology of the like. And then there's digital citizenship, which is, quote, being a good, a good person in the digital world, being a good citizen, knowledge of these issues and how to avoid them. So that's strand two. Strand, uh, that's sorry, that's strand one. Strand two is the application to specific areas or specific scenarios as they're referred to in IT. And these are basically uh, different, um, different sort of categories that the situation can fall into. You have business and employment, education and training, environment, health, home and leisure, politics and government, we just weakly defined categories that are meant to sort of narrow down the usage of certain systems. And then the last strand talks about the IT system itself, uh, the input, output, processing, networking, and storage. The, these are where you talk about the actual technical components of the system and how they relate to the social or ethical issue, what's wrong with it being used. Input, how, how does the user use it? Keyboard, mouth, any sort of input device. Output, that could be as simple as a monitor or some other output device. Processing, like computer processors or how they process data. Networking, do the, uh, does the system, is the system compatible with a network like the internet and how does it do so? And then storage, memory, how does it hold its data? And so in the end, those three strands, along with analyzing the stakeholders, put together a picture of the, of the IT issue. Uh, as I said, it narrows down on a specific IT system and what is wrong, if anything, with its usage. There, again, there usually will be something. But what is wrong with its usage? These three strands help to sort of narrow down those categories, analyze directly what the problem is and how a solution might be found.